darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited, and together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long-gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. We should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you so can be sure to <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me. Eat up. Also, lecker aus einer Pistazieneis oder so. Without a word. She went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman. Alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Mom. I love you, too. Krass, da ist gerade Allison sie umgebracht hat. Well dream, my doves. Ollie? Ollie? What a waste. Was trinkt sie denn da? Das Eis leer oder wie? Allison! Ollie! Allison, help! Okay. Krasser Rückblick irgendwie.
Tell me why. Kapitel 2. Familiengeheimnisse. Auch wieder diese Landschaft, ey. Wow. Das mit der Sonne haben sie auch wieder sehr geil gemacht. Blendung von Jung auf Alt ist sehr geil. Echt gut gemacht. Aussicht. Eins plus mit Sternchen. closing a chapter of our lives, you know? But instead we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh... Can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Ton of ice ice is immer gut. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Goblin face is keep, dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can is, well, trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. Okay, aufräumen, naja. I completely forgot we had a pet vol for a few days. Poor Volcano. She was in rough shape when we found her. Good thing Marianne actually knew what she was doing with injured wildlife. Lasagna! Lasagna! Can 
wish you salad first. Thank you, Tessa. You're a lifesaver. No, oh, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch, too. Oh, I'm quite right, love. She can have my corn. Wüli muss auch was essen. Wüli die Maus. Here you go, little one. You must be hungry, too. <laughs> Looks like Tessa didn't have that broom up her ass back then. What's this doing down? Is that gum? Ugh. I guess that was probably me. Neues Sammlerstück, die große Froschdame. What to do with this? Ah, this has been sitting in a damp house for ten years. No one wants to eat off it. No, it's a bit old and gammelig, aus, würde ich auch sagen. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Uh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. <laughs> I was so afraid that Marianne would ground me for the rest of my life. But she didn't, right? No. I remember her saying that that sufficiently adventurous play ensures that accidents will happen, and that it wasn't a big deal. But still. No more tea parties inside. Sie mit der Glut sieht auch richtig schick aus. Alter, wie die es heute grafisch alles lösen. Ja, schnell. Kuchenauflauf, Zutaten, Dose Kirschen, Dose Ananas gewürfelt, 250 Gramm gehackte Walnüsse. Okay. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. Wenn er das nicht möchte. Hm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. We ate way too much expired food on this table. Oh. Oh, God. That's... What's that smell? <lacht> What's that smell? <lacht> You're doing a great job. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Ooh, what's that smell? Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. A skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <sighs> Oops, I forgot. You hungry? We have a whole lot of nothing. 
Aw, uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? <laughs> Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Uh, ew. Says the guy who used mm, to eat peanut so butter with da, ranch. Mm -hmm. So good. Lecker, lecker. Was oh, ist schon wieder müde? Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Mary and the magpie. Hello, ancient broken down machines. That will be the future owner's problem. Stimmt, hat sie ja vorhin schon gesagt, dass äh, Waschmaschinen und Trockner sind ja kaputt. I can turn this thing into a terrarium. We don't really want to keep anything in here, right? Können ja mal nach oben gehen. And what do you know? More stuff. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Hey Tyler! How does five little monkeys go again? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell down and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Mad you had to go to the hospital. She worries way too much about what people think. Everything okay up there? Yeah. When's mom coming? She'll home? be here soon. Is anyone hungry? No, I'm okay. Thank you. You scared me to death when you fell out of that tree. I cried most of the way to Tessa's house. It was kind of exciting going to the hospital, but the part after that with Marianne, that was... Baloney! <laughs> Guess who I found? Baloney! Alley Belly Baloney? Why, yes. I would love to have a tea party with you. Again. For the third time today. Baloney, Nenzine. Okay. We should gather up all our old toys and give them to charity. What's that? I said we should give our old toys to charity. Oh, what soft, what light through yonder. There's a paper plane stuck in the ceiling light. Maybe it has a secret message from our past selves. Find something to knock it down. Hmm, I could use that ball. Okay, let's see if I can still do this. Five bucks says you miss. Oh, hat geklappt. Ich dachte schon, ich muss da extra runterlaufen. Oh my god. <lacht> wow. This is something real. What is it? Allison's a uh, big fat loser. You're no better at insults than you were at 11. <lacht> Why mess with perfection? Will this ever stop feeling so weird? Is 
So long, trusty bunk beds. Herzlichen Glückwunsch, du hast die Karte entdeckt, wenn er raus, was dahinter steckt. Folgst du meinen Spuren aus den Glitzersternen am Ende, kommst du vielleicht aus der unbekannten Fremde. Das ist zwar am helllichten Tage und äh, ist auch keine Geister und nichts, aber irgendwie ist das trotzdem ein düsteres Haus. So, you gonna come back down to help me or what? Hey, did you finish packing upstairs? Nope. There's way too much junk to sort through. Well, you gonna clean off the coffee table? Fine, clean freak. It's gonna leave a stain on the wood. All right. I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? Uh, yeah. Is that okay? Sure. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. No, and if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. Schieb die Plastiktüte einfach in den Mülleimer. Okay, ist in Ordnung. Ich dachte, ich kipp den auf den Boden. I really like that armchair. It'll look sharp next to your tree stump nightstand. I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. But I was actually thinking it should go in your library. Library? We may not even have a living room. I have faith in you. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? Ah, das kenne ich von früher auch noch. I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Ah, ich muss sagen, das alles rauszuschleppen, okay, das ist ist gar nicht so viel, würde ich sagen. Da habe ich schon Schlimmeres gesehen. What's up? Should I throw these pictures out? I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but. But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Has therapy helped at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy. And she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. At the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler, that's made the biggest difference. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. And just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right, what's your verdict, Ronan? You know what, I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. Oh man, I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on.
like Allison. Well, hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. Hmm. My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. gonna jump up and do the cha-cha what about me I want to clean the fish too it's not even your fish you didn't catch anything Ugh. only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away keep your eyes on what you're doing Allison when we're done with this half you can take over and do the other one that sounds fair. yes mm -mm. you're right I was kind of being a brat Hey, Allison, come take a break with me. That's a nice face. I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. You're what now? You know, my blue... Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Mmm, no, tea. Earl Grey or chai? Your call. I'm fixing myself a good old cup of joe. Ah, a nice pot of wakey-wakey juice. Papa needs his rocket fuel. <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. <laughs> Punishment, said the Ice King. You shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! Huh. Die haben wirklich als Kinder sehr schön miteinander gespielt. Really react that way. He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh yeah, you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead. Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. <sighs> I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. I think they're all still in the kitchen drawer. We should go take a look. Come check this out. Allison's first drafts. Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. <laughs> You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me.
Ah, oh, Bruch der Kobolde. Hm. Pelican. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah. But there was always a you go here. This one. You done? Fertig gibt's ja gar nicht. Gibt's nur Tauschen zwischen den beiden? Warte mal, wissen, äh, Olli ist doch der... Hm. Alright, I think I'm done. You sure? How do you like them apples? Yeah, no, none of these really seem like the right personalities. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. Hmm. Oh, uh, do stuff. hat sie doch, nee, den Typen hat er doch auch gesehen, als seine Mutter auf ihn geschossen hat. I forgot about that. We'd been pretending he was there. And then suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison? Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Great. Hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. <laughs> We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Well, hi, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. Oh, uh, also got something for you, Tyler. Every man needs a good knife. There you are. Thanks. Das ist ja sehr uh, geil. Er kennt ihn an, als man... Good. Das hier ist mal cool. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady in the house. Oh, lecker Fisch. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. That fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh... I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20 some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. 
Boxes in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. Well, I guess old bears can learn new tricks. <laughs> yep. Come on. Let's go get our electricity back on. Oh, Gott sei Dank hat er den Schlüssel. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. You really helped her out, huh? Now, oh, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help your mother. She... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh... Figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. Door's a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son, give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. <clears throat> Damn it. No, no shit. <clears throat> Tür ist auf. Oh, das ist der Sicherungskasten. All right. Fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Okay, uh, steht da irgendwo was an Nummer 15, 20, 30? B abbrechen. The whole jam needs to be replaced. Nah, just need to sand that part down. We could refinish the whole thing, but that's a lot of work for an old door. Let's try this one. Pass me that handle. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh. What happened? You okay? Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, <laughs> just a bum. Wait, that's not right. You sure you don't need a hand? Hey, I'm moving at my own pace. I need to know this stuff. All right. Women, huh? Don't do that, Sam. Uh, did you read the note next to the box? So, da oben steht ja. Genau. Bücher steckt in Garage. 30, 20, 15. Okay, die Sicherung scheint ja in Ordnung zu sein. Problem muss be the latch. No shit. It's covered in rust. Nothing on the 20 er Salt and lime. It's a door latch, not a bottle. I guess I should try a higher amp fuse. Okay, aber die rechts und links ist kommt jetzt hier eine 30 er rein. Just do the math, Allison. Da packen wir mal eine 30 er rein. Here, hold this. I want to get a look at the spindle. Shouldn't we get this cleaned up before we put it back together? I just want to check something. Hey, uh... Hey. Die 15er ist falsch. Die ist durchgebrannt. Dann nehmen wir die 20er. Oh, 
Why isn't this working? Have you seen any yellow cable? It's all paired with a 20 amp. Hey, what did I say? She's doing this on her own, man. Look, I'm all for strong, independent ladies, but uh, we don't want anyone hurting themselves, right? Thanks, but I'm no lady. Die 30 er schon. That doesn't seem right. Jetzt nur noch die unterste, die quasi durch ist. Nehmen wir da mal eine 15er rein. Oder war das eine 15er? Ja, so geht es auf jeden Fall besser, wenn ich einfach äh, teste. Just do the math, Allison. Have you seen any yellow cable? It's paired with a 20 amp. Have you seen any yellow cable? It's paired with a 20 amp. Okay, er sagt immer, das gelbe Kabel ist die mit 20. Warum kann ich die nicht nur noch die beiden wechseln? Die daneben geht gar nicht. Okay. So die gelben Kabel, das sind die hier. Der sagt Nummer 20, ne? Und kann ich die unten rechts irgendwie nicht mehr entfernen, das verstehe ich nicht. Ah, jetzt haben wir es, alles klar. Wie auch immer wir das hinbekommen haben. Ach du Scheiße, das ist das Gewehr, was sie genommen hatte. You damn fool. Everything okay? You were. Uh you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um... Äh, scheint das nicht so verkraft zu verkraften. Ich vermute mal, das Geheimnis ist auch, dass er mit ihr was hatte. What was that about? Predator-Rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. She was so crafty. And she could draw and... Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. I wonder what she planned to make. Maybe a car? Ooh, or a tank. Hey there, little buddy. If we end up living together, you should know my house has a no spiders rule. 
Well... What are we gonna do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap? Be my guest. But it sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Found Marianne's stash. Blueberry, blueberry. Those have definitely gone bad. As far as I'm concerned, they always were. Does canned food really expire? I mean, it's airtight, right? Uh, not gonna be the one to test that out. I should only ask for Allison, do you know who this is? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but... Never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow! broken. Oh. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see Mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. There's more, I can feel it. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne. <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please, leave. Mary Ann. I'm sorry. Please, just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, I know he took care of you. But that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne. 
even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? It's Goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Get off my property right now! So, we agree. Brown came out here and bullied Marianne the same day she attacked us. And then lied about it. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. Uh, so but what will these mountains gemacht. of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. I had also asked why he was so secret, what's going on. Man, I can't believe Bron lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Mm. It's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. Sehr vorbildlich. Yes, I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, Han. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Han, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. And it's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. <sighs> Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Do it. Yeah? Yep. Great. I'll set it all up and uh, send you the details. Later, hon. Achtung, während der Lachswanderung kommt es häufig zu Bärensichtigung. Okay. Ja, und so war das Haus hier auch los. Dee and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The bears? I vermute mal, here gibt's wieder Erinnerung. The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kinda rings a bell. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before. So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? Well, we have an interested buyer. Tina's gonna show him the house day after tomorrow. Oh. Great. Apparently he'd be paying cash, but he's just in town for a few days, so... Mm. I mean, we're not signing anything in blood. It's just a showing. Das Gefühl, er will das Haus gar nicht verkaufen. Look, we both need this money. And it'll take at least a few weeks, right? There's plenty of time to figure out all this Marianne stuff. It's fine. You did it. It's done. Let's move on. <sighs> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded like he it. He hid information about Marianne. 
I know. You just don't have to rub it in. He doesn't get a pass just because this is uncomfortable for you. I'm not giving him a pass. It's just hard. This whole damn situation is hard. You think I liked learning all that shit about Tessa? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. You seem pretty eager to ditch all those friends and family, Allison. Apparently a cash offer is all it takes. I'm ready to move on. But that doesn't mean I want to burn every bridge on my way out. Her hometown looks pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. So, you really want to live somewhere super secluded like this? Alone in a cave, speaking for the trees? I do. Is it really that hard to imagine? I just don't think of you as a loner. You and I always did everything together. <laughs> well, you're way less terrible than other people. You feeling that, Ty? Yeah. Found you! North Star! Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. Yeah. I can't believe we played it in public, though. We probably looked like tiny freaks shouting nonsense. Well, we were freaks, but that's why we were awesome. You never wished we fit in a little more? Not at all? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. Hey, I really am sorry I gave Tina an answer without talking to you first. It's okay. You probably made the right call. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come, but maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. So, Freunde, ich würde sagen, an dieser Stelle wird es Zeit, endlich Schluss zu machen. Das ist ja endlich. Also, es macht ja mega Spaß. Ist auch mega interessant, die ganze Geschichte. Wir finden gerade raus, ähm, wer da noch äh, irgendwelche Geheimnisse hat und ähm, welche Person irgendwie noch dazukommt zu der ganzen Geschichte. Aber ähm, ich denke mal, das sollten wir nochmal ein bisschen aufteilen, das Ganze. Eine Stunde reicht jetzt auch wieder und da würde ich sagen, sehen wir uns auf jeden Fall im nächsten Video. Bis dahin.